my passengers, how's it going? I hope it's going well for you on this uh, glorious Wednesday morning. Or at least that's when I'm narrating it, is in the morning. So, uh, I got yet another game here against my good buddy Conker, because uh, we battle all the time, I don't have any of our battles to upload, and this game was stupid as hell, so uh, I figured, you know what, it just it reached that point where it just started to become hilarious, so I'm gonna upload it. And, uh, yeah, lead off with Metagross here. This is a team that, this is like one of my only teams I think I could say that's well thought out. And I, I use it like if I just want to try and do well. Because against Ryan, I need to be playing my best if I want a chance of winning. Because, like, he can bring random shit and just completely destroy me. Because he just, he can do that because he's good. And I'm not. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, going to set up my Stealth Rocks, which is always helpful. And uh, I think at this point, I just go for Meteor Mashes and just try and get an attack raise. Even though, since he has that slow bro, I still won't be accomplishing anything, really. But I just want the attack raise to satisfy myself for some strange reason. So, uh, Cleave Orb. And, uh, it's gonna take that Meteor Mash very nicely. And I don't get my attack raise. So I'm like, oh, come on, game, don't do this to me. I want my attack raise. That's all I want. I'll switch out after I get my attack raise, even. I don't even care. So, uh, he's gonna call mine here. And I'm thinking, oh, hey, <laughs> I can't do this anymore. I'm definitely gonna die so I switch into a scissor to uh, kill it with bug bite and he slacks off and I'm thinking well I think it can kill I hope it can I'm pretty sure I mean it's scissor you know it's pretty damn good so HP's going down but he lives in the red so uh, and then he surfs me and I think I can live this I actually yeah, I do I'm pretty sure I live this so uh, yeah 65 HP not bad and this turn, I thought about roosting, thinking he might switch, and he did switch, but in the end I was like, I can't risk it, so I just bug bite and kill his Uxie, and I was like, I could have roosted and saved my scissor, because uh, now he's going to bring in Medicham, and I'm going to be like, you're going to have fake out, aren't you? But I don't care, I'm going to stay in and be an asshole, just because I don't think you'll have it. But he did have it, so, yeah. I knew he would have it, but I just wanted to prove myself wrong and say he didn't have it, so, yeah. But that didn't work out gonna bring in Blarzy now, my Dragonite. Good old Dragonite. He brings in Gonorrhea now because it burns. <laughs> hey -o. And uh, gonna Thunder Wave him, so that's not too bad at all. And uh, this turn, I'm just gonna Dragon Claw just to get some damage on him. Uh, since this is my wall Dragonite, it's not gonna kill, really. But it'll bring him down pretty low. He gets paralyzed, so uh, maybe he had Hidden Power Ice. Maybe he was trying to use that, but I don't think it would've killed, honestly. Just because this Dragonite is a tank. Just so good on the special side. So, um, yeah, but down goes the Typhlosion. He has Metacham in here, and he focus punches knowing I'd switch, and I was like, what the f- Ryan, stop it. Please, just stop being good at this game. And down goes Metagross. That's abandoned Machamp, by the way, so there's no way in hell I'm living that <laughs> at all. And uh, this is where I just start being stupid. I bring in Tyranitar. To scare him with an attack, making him want to switch, so then I double switch out into Starmie, except he doesn't switch, he predicts my switch, and he focus punches again. Oh my, ugh! It's just, it's crap like that. Ryan, he's just, oh my, he knows what you're gonna do. He just knows. And there's no way around it. At all. <laughs> it's just so ridiculous, so I bring back in Tyranitar now, and I'm just gonna pursue him. I'm like, alright, I've had enough of you. And I think he switched. Yeah, he switched. But it doesn't kill, which is crap. But he'll die to Stealth Rock anyway, so it doesn't matter. And uh, it's probably because I'm not banded. I have leftovers. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to use Pursuit on the Slowbro now. He probably sent it in his fodder. So uh, that's all good and fun for me. Uh, Tarantar gets a kill. And uh, I forget what happens next. I, I forget when he brings it. Oh, Heracross. All right. If any of you have ever seen Ryan's hair across in action before, oh yeah, I focus punch here, hoping that he would sub up, which is what his signature hair across does. And if any of you have ever faced his hair across the original Rampage, you know what true defeat feels like. You know what it feels like to be 6 0 without any hope of winning. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, actually, I guess fortunately for me. That wasn't his hair cross. That was just a normal scarfed hair cross. But if that was his signature hair cross, his, you know, his rampage, uh, then it would have completely annihilated me. No hope of anything. And that's where I find out it's scarfed. And I was like, God damn it, Ryan. So we were laughing our asses off there because uh, 
I thought that he was, I thought he had like, you know, sub and leftovers and swords dance and all that good stuff, but he didn't, so he just killed me off. And I think Dragonite's my last guy at this point. Actually, yeah, Dragonite is my last. He switches out Heracross so he can switch his move, obviously, and I Thunder Wave Celebi, and I'm like, oh, great, this is it, isn't it? So uh, he told me that this was a Sword Stance Last Resort Celebi, but um, all he used on me was Leech Seed, and then I think he attacked for a little bit, but he definitely didn't have Sword Stance Last Resort, I don't think. Um, he brings back in Heracross here because he was like, I want to see how much a Guts Boosted attack will do to you, because he was just so confident that he would live a Dragon Claw. You know, but this is where it bites you in the ass, buddy, because you didn't think that I because you thought you could live with Dragon Claw, but you can't. You can't, man. Don't mess with Dragonite. Don't mess with him. You mess with the bull, you get the horns. And you don't want the horns. Because that's 300 attack right there. Even though it has no EV, so that's still pretty baller. And uh now it's one on one. And I expected this to be a hellish stall war here, but I so I paralyzed the Celebi because the only way I can win is if I hacks him out. And uh he leech seated there, but he missed, I think. I'm pretty sure, unless I'm just completely missing everything in life, then. Uh, I think, yeah, he missed leech seed. So I Dragon Claw him. Does a really nice amount, actually. Because, you know, while Dragonite still has some pretty good offensive ability, even though it's, you know, got no attack EVs. And, uh, I think he leech seeded me there. I'm still not paying attention. Like, I'm looking straight at the screen, and I, I just, like, I'm not putting two and two together. So, yeah, he leech seeded me. And I'm just gonna keep Dragon Clawing him. That's all, pretty much all I need to do at this point. And uh, he ta oh he toxics me. So yeah, uh, I think he was talking out his ass when he said he had Sword Stance Last Resort. Um, unless those are his last two moves, that would just be hilarious. So um, yeah, but I don't think he gets the chance to use those last moves really because uh, uh, well I know Dragon Claw is gonna bring him down really low this turn. And uh, I don't remember if he gets paralyzed or not. I think he might. Um, no PS in power, so definitely not Sword Stance Last Resort. Ryan, you bitch. <laughs> I, yeah. So, uh, he died to Sandstorm there, and I guess I won somehow, 1-0, because he just wanted to see, you know, how much damage his hair cross would do. So, yeah, that was all good and fun and everything. So, yep, yeah, that was the game. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.